Hey there, people were asking me to show my setup, and so I thought I'd share that. This is being recorded on my phone. Uh, this is my Sony A5100 camera. Um, if you're wondering what this is, it's it's a jerry-rigged uh, wind guard for the microphones, because they don't, there's nothing, you can't buy anything specifically for this camera for that. There's nothing that fits particularly on it. So you have to either make it or you have to get a separate mic setup. So I just did this. It's just the material I bought at a, at a uh, what was it, fabric land or whatever, and cut it up and pasted it on the onto the camera. This is a cheap Fotazzi f1.7 lens, 35 millimeter. It has some weird things about it. I mean, this, this lens is like 30 bucks. Usually lenses are really expensive, but this is normally something used on a CCTV camera. But um, uh, if you get a converter, you, you can buy it with the converter on it and, and put it on, a, uh, on the E-mount for, for Sony. And the thing about this lens is uh, it has a different focus point on the edges than the center. So... So as long as you know you know that, you can work with it. It's a fully manual lens. I, I like manual lenses because, uh, I mean, well, when you know how to adjust it, how to adjust it manually, you can, you can do some cool things. Anyway, um, and I have this hooked up to a, uh, this cam link thing that you see here. This is a, uh, an Elgato cam link. It allows you to hook up anything to it that's HDMI, and the computer will see it as a webcam, and it can do 60 frames per second. That, that's a really cool device. I love that device. I love it, love it, love it. And then, of course, I use OBS to do the recordings. Here, let me turn on the, let me turn on the camera. Wait just a moment. See, there we go. Um, and... Anyway, my lighting, my lighting are these uh, just cheap, uh, cheap lamps uh, with a piece of either, I, I, this time, I think at this point it's, it's toilet paper that I taped to the front of it to, to diffuse the light. The newspaper is on the side of this to block the light from going to the, uh, the back wall, so it only lights up the part that's, that's, you know, it only lights me up. Here it is on the other side. Um... Here's the mic here. Yes, I've got some duct tape on this part of it. Um, and I just put it in the center above my head, and that's how I get the recordings like that. Um, on the back wall, we've got three... There's three cheap lamps like this. Um, this one is it has a green LED, slightly aqua-ish hue to it. Uh, then there's the blue one and the pink one. Here are those two things you always see on the right side of the video. This is the uh, the heater thermostat that I've covered with paper just today. Um, thanks to, I can't remember what his name is, but um, he suggested it. I had tried it before, it didn't work well, but then I did it better this time. So, you know. Um, I do have other lenses than, than that one. The one that I was using for a long time that just kind of distorted my... My face was this lens. I'm still paying this lens off. It's going to be a while before I have this lens paid off. It's a Samyang f2.0 uh, 12 millimeter, extra extra wide angle. It's I I love this lens. It's especially great for when I'm doing walking videos and and stuff like that. Here is the kit lens that comes with the camera. It is an f3.5 lens that is. Uh, 16 millimeters to 50 millimeters. It has a zoom on it. Uh, Autofocus, and if you try to adjust the focus manually, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, that's one of the reasons I don't use it very often, because I like doing stuff manually. This is an old Pentax lens from uh, an old 35 millimeter camera. What I got, I got a little uh, converter that lets me use it uh, on the E-mount. I have it in plastic because I don't have the back cover for it. And yes, I'm use, I use this as my camera case. It's just a, it's just a, a lunchbox thing. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's basically my setup. Um, 
You know, if, if you know how lenses work, you know how cameras work, you know how lighting works, you can do things on the cheap. So, anyway, um, yeah, some people will spend tons of money for their setups and they still don't get something that looks that great. But if you know what you're doing, you know, you know how the stuff works, great. Now, I don't know all the terminology. As I've said, you know, I, 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 I didn't even know about the, 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 cons, the, the, the rule of thirds. I, I, you know, other people had to tell me about that. And they said, oh, yeah, you're using the rule of thirds in your photography. Well, no, I didn't even know about that. I just do it. Same thing with music, you know. I mean, I, I, I took some theory. Um, I know about some theory, but most of the time I just do things on the way it sounds. I, I do photography based on the way it looks. So I'm, I'm thinking about how <laughs> I've got my keyboard here with some hats on it. And when I was in bands as lead vocalist, I drive the bandmates nuts because I'm terrible with memorizing lyrics, even my own lyrics. So I'd have pieces of paper taped to the top of the keyboard that had uh, some of the lyrics on it because, well, again, I, I couldn't memorize the lyrics very well, you know. But I'm great at the music, so... Anyway, I guess I'm rambling, so, uh, a banana.